you click on this video, then you know what happened. I quit my job. What is up, everyone? It is good to see every single one of you right now. Man, I have a story that I need to tell you. And yes, if you clicked on this video, it's true. I quit my job. <laughs> it is crazy. This is not something I expected to happen at all. I expected to stay at this job for a minimum of one entire year. I am not lying. I, literally, I genuinely mean it. So unless you're living under a rock, you guys know that 2020 is absolutely insane. As a part of that, a lot of people are losing their jobs, and in May of 2020, I was one of those people. I was laid off from a job that I loved very much. I worked at entrepreneur.com. My manager was amazing. Honestly, I think I had a good relationship with him. He mentored me a lot. He is the reason that I am the developer I am today. But unfortunately, I was laid off, and that was probably the hardest thing that I've had to go through. I had friends there. I was paid well and it just, I was growing and I was learning a lot at the company. So I got laid off there. This was in May. I made a video about it. You can check it out in the link in the description below. In a couple of days, I got two job offers and the job offers I got were two from two companies. One company that's in San Francisco, Silicon Valley. It's a small media company and they were going to pay me really well. I mean, compared to my last job, I was going to get paid about $30,000, so I was doing the math in my head right now. <laughs> I was going to get paid just about $30,000 more than I received at entrepreneur.com. That's a lot more money. I mean, it's also in Silicon Valley, right? So that makes sense. And then the other job offer I received was from a company, a startup in Tennessee. I live at the, the border of Virginia and Tennessee, by the way. So it's a company in Tennessee. They're offering me a lot less than, of course, what Silicon Valley could offer because, I mean, there's Silicon Valley and then there's Tennessee. I mean, the, the pay is totally different. I mean, a lot of people would have probably accepted a job in Silicon Valley, but I did not want to move there. It was not a remote position. They wouldn't, like, they wouldn't let me work remote. So I rejected the job in Silicon Valley. I took the lesser paying job, which still also paid more than my last one, by the way. And I took this lesser paying job in Tennessee. Why? Is because, honestly, man, I'm the kind of person where I don't just do something only for the money. I don't always just follow the money. I do something because I love it. When I joined entrepreneur.com, yeah, they paid me a lot more than my Virginia web developer position, but then I got to work at a fast-paced company and I got to work in a company that everyone around the world knows and I got to learn so much, which I did. And the reason I joined this smaller startup in Tennessee is because I really believe in it. Like, I wanna build it. I like, I really do. Like, why else would I move across the country? Literally moving thousands of miles, leaving everything and everyone, I'm literally leaving everything. I left my desk, my bed, everything in the West Coast. My family and everything. The only things I brought was just a, my computer and my laptop and my dogs. That's all I brought here and my clothes, right? Why else would I do that? Why else would I move across the country thinking that I'm gonna quit? Why else would I move across the country unless I was committed and loyal and I was. So when did I move here? I moved here two months ago, although I've been working for the company for about five or six months, right? So I moved here two months ago. I'm in this beautiful house. This is my office, check it out. I mean, like this is my office, my dog's right there. <laughs> but unfortunately, things didn't go as planned. The CEO was very kind to me. I mean, he paid for me to relocate here. He spent thousands of dollars. He helped me in many ways I can't even share with you because it's, it's just that personal, right? Like he's helped me in more ways than you can like ask for. Like he went above and beyond. And, uh, he, he's kind of like a mentor to me. I've learned so much and I'm learning so much from him. And he's so kind to me, to be honest, man. He's a Christian brother too as well, which helps to be able to work for someone who is Christian as well. He believes in me. That's why he was willing to fly me here and he hired me like that after getting laid off. But unfortunately, like things at the company just didn't work out. I don't want to say exactly what happened at the company because I do respect the CEO a lot and he's helped me in so many ways, right? And honestly, all of my colleagues at the company, I love a lot. I mean, I got along with them really well, like really well, made good friends. I even hired my own friends at that company. I got them well-paying jobs at this company, right? And why would I bring a friend to a company if I didn't believe in that company? And as for me, something did happen. I let it go. I let it go, but when this one particular thing happened, I was like, you know what? I 
probably sh I started I already started to think maybe I shouldn't be here anymore I started looking for other jobs I let it go and I just acted like everything's cool and then it happened again and it happened it happened again and I'm not gonna say what it was that happened because honestly man the company is amazing the CEO is so kind to me here uh, he's kind of like a mentor to me. I've known him for a very long time. Uh, I've known him for quite a few years at least, at least like five years. And he's helped me in many ways that you can imagine, honestly. And so I don't want to disrespect the company like that. The company did nothing wrong to me, but something did happen and I just, it just, for my own mental health, for my own happiness, I had to do something drastic and I had to quit, like on the spot. I gave them a one day notice. I'm like, you know what? I can't do this no more. I said, I'll, because I, I really, I really wanted to build this project. I put so much time into it. I was putting like 100 hours a week into this um, because it's, I'm building a business, right? I told them I'll do, I'll work on this for one more day and I'll finish it. And I did, and then I quit. And it's crazy because I never thought I would do that. I thought moving across the country, I'm gonna stay here for quite a few years, but it looks like that wasn't gonna be the case because this happened. And what's even more crazy is that I was willing to quit in the middle of a pandemic knowing that there are a lot of people losing their jobs right now. But at the end of the day, like I know that's happening, but I have to think of my happiness. I have to think of what's most important for me. What, I have to think of what it is that I need to do for myself. My mental health was on the line. Like, I'm not gonna say what it was again, right? But I had to do what was best for me. And so I quit my job. And what's really interesting is I had no regrets. I, I started waking up every morning, no stress whatsoever. I'm waking up every morning happy. I'm living every day with no stress. Like stress is part of every single job, but the, the kind of stress I was going through, I never want to go through that again. I am very happy right now, despite that happening. And I think what I want to share, the moral of the story is that money, making money is nice. And the position I'm in right now is kind of crazy. The fact that I can quit another job because I know I can find another one in a couple of weeks, if not months. I have enough savings to last me three to six months right now, right? Depending on how I spend it. So I'm good at that. But also I have experience. I have over four years experience as a developer now. Not even just that, I have a huge network where I can contact literally thousands of people who can help me get a job and like that easily. And so I'm very fortunate because I put myself in this position where I can give myself many other opportunities. And when I think about this though, if this was to happen to me four years ago, when I was a junior developer, I would not have been able to quit like that because I'm a junior developer, it's not like I could get a job anywhere. I barely knew HTML, CSS, jQuery, or that's all that I knew. Like who would hire me, right? Uh, it wouldn't be easy. I didn't have a great portfolio back then, but because of the experience I'm in and the position I'm in right now, and because of YouTube and my side business that I have, developer branded, I'll put that in the description below as well, I'm able to survive without a job. I may not be able to live the lifestyle I have with a full-time job as a developer, but I'm able to survive and still take care of my family, which is crazy when you think about it. But if this would happen to me years ago, man, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be able to do that. I would be stuck at the job, being unhappy, and my mental health going down the drain. But because I worked my butt off to really be good at what I do, and to be able to not just settle being happy at the company, but building my own side hustles like YouTube, my own clothing line, my own side contract as a freelancer that I'm doing, I'm set. And that's crazy when I think about that. I never would have thought or imagined that I'd be in a position where I can just quit a job and be okay. Like that's crazy when I think about it. So yeah, man, I mean, I quit my job and that's why. But what's even more amazing from this story that I wanna share, I think it's really important that I share right now as well, is that when I did quit the job, the CEO reached out to me. You know, he, he I don't deserve this, man. He's so kind to me and he's such a good guy. I mean, he's blessed me in so many different ways. Uh, he told me, Chris, you know what? Like he, he likes me. He said, you don't have to work directly for the company because I mean, I quit the company, but he still has side projects that he wants me to work on with him, except now it's just me. And, and that's crazy. Like I'm here in my office, right? I'm here in my office. He gives me what projects he wants done and I'll get like a website done in like two weeks. And then as long as I get those projects done, that's all that matters. I have zero stress whatsoever. Coding is like breathing to me. Co coding to me is like playing video games. It's so easy, I don't even have to think. And so now, because I did what was best for my happiness, and I didn't do this to hurt anyone at all, right? I did what's best for my mental health. I was still put in a position where I'll be totally fine. That I'm still being paid the same while coding for the CEO, 
who flew me across the country or, or paid for me to relocate across the country. Like I still have a job. Like how many people, how, how, how many people can say that can happen to them? Like I feel like I'm the luckiest guy in the world. I quit my job and that same CEO, I guess you could say kept me or hired me to do something else. I'm so fortunate to be in the position I'm in today, guys. And I think at the end of the day, what's most important is that when, you, when you're at your old age, right? When you're a lot older, towards the end of your years, you have no regrets. And that's something that I really want to make sure that I live with, with no regrets. That I do what I think is best for me and my family all the time. And I'm going to live by that standard no matter what because my happiness is more important than money. And so I hope that this story can encourage you because I know a lot of people are going through situations at the work. Maybe they're in a toxic culture and they're not happy. Maybe they're stuck and you can't get out. And if that's you, then you need to be able to just improve your skill, elevate your skill as developers so you can get another job. I mean, I'm learning cyber, like I'm learning cybersecurity and cyber fun, not to get another job, but maybe in a year or two after building my own cybersecurity stuff, I can get a job easily while building my own business, right? So people are in different situations, but I think at the end of the day, you have to think of your mental health as a priority because your life is your life. You only get to have it once. Don't live it with regrets. But anyway, guys, that's my story. But if you guys like this video, I'd really appreciate if you can leave this video with a like. And if you have any thoughts or opinions, leave me a comment, man. Um, let me know your thoughts on this. Was I stupid? Did it make no sense? Am I just lucky? Yeah, I think I'm really just lucky. Let me know in the comment section below. Love you all. This is Krishan, just a life of developer. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.